All right, art students, for today's lesson, we're gonna be using a circle piece of paper. This is seven inches across. So the um, diameter of this from one side to the other, no matter where you measure it, is about seven inches apart. We're also going to need two smaller pieces of paper, as well as two little bitty pieces of cardboard, some scissors, We'll be using some scissors and we'll be using some crayons and if you choose you can also use a marker with some clean water that's just a choice though all right so our students what we're going to be building today is an aerial view snowman so this would be a snowman that instead of seeing it from the front where you see you know like the circle the circle the circle like you're you could walk up and you know wave at it or something we're seeing it as though we are a bird flying over and we're looking down on that snowman so we're going to start off by building the snowman's body and then we're going to add in some details our largest circle that we have here is going to be the bottom circle of the snowman, which typically is the largest circle because it's what's got to hold up the rest of the snowman. Then we're gonna make a little bit smaller circle to be that middle and then an even smaller circle for the top. So I'm gonna start off with one of my sheets of paper. I'll put this larger circle to the side for a second and I'm gonna work on one of these larger sheets of paper. And I don't wanna draw a teeny weeny circle in the middle. I wanna draw a fairly large circle that's taking up most of this piece of paper. Now this circle is going to end up being cut out eventually so um, if you make like lots and lots of lines like I'm doing right now to make a nice circle, you can always flip it over so you won't see all those pencil lines later. And also know that snowmen, you know, if you were to roll a ball of snow, it's not going to be a perfect circle. It's gonna be kind of lumpy bumpy. So if your circle is kind of lumpy or bumpy as you work on it and you get it cut out, that's perfectly fine. Now as I'm working, I'm also gonna save these scraps that I'm making because I'm gonna use little pieces from this to do things like make my stick arms or if you wanna make a scarf um, or maybe a carrot nose or something like that. So I'm gonna save these scraps. Now I'm gonna take my third sheet of paper. So I've got one circle, two circles, and I've got my third circle. Before I create my third circle, I'm gonna trace that second circle because I wanna make sure that I make my last circle smaller. Otherwise, in the end, I wouldn't be able to see the head of my snowman. So I'm going to come just kinda of over to the edge of this, or you could do it right in the middle, it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna draw another circle. If it bothers you to have your circles be lumpy and bumpy and not perfect, if you wanna find things to trace to make perfect circles, you can. But for a snowman, I kinda of like having my circles be a little bit irregular so that it, it would look more like a realistic snowman. All right, so now I've got my large circle. I'm gonna flip this one over so that the pencil lines face down. I have my medium circle and I have my small circle. But when I stack them up like that, you can't see them anymore. So what I'd like to do is make it so we can see those again. And to do that, I'm gonna take a, I'm working with blue. If you wanna have your snowman be, um, have another color to it, that's perfectly fine. I'm choosing blue because sometimes like ice and snow and stuff can take on a little bit of a bluish color. Um, so that's why I'm choosing blue. But again, it's up to you. And I'm just gonna trace around this circle edge of my snowman with this, I'm working actually, it's kind of a teal color. With this teal color all around my snowman's body. And then I think what I'd like to do, because we have done this before and it turns out pretty cool, is I'm gonna take a blue marker and I'm gonna add a little bit of blue marker right on top of that crayon and kind of next to that crayon. I wanna keep the middle of my snowman's body kind of dry, because I'm gonna be putting some glue there later and I don't want it to be wet. That would be hard to glue together. So I'm not gonna, not gonna put any water in the middle, but I'm just gonna take some water and I'm going to paint that marker color around a little bit so that it's lighter blue um, all around my edges. And again, I'm not worried about this being perfect because snow, you know, snow would have little lumps and bumps and that's perfectly fine. 
So I'm going to move this off to the side and I'm going to come do the same thing on my middle size circle. I'm going to stick with the same teal blue. You could change colors if you wanted. These, um, these snowmen can be just sort of like fanciful and imaginary. So if you aren't wanting to work with blue, if you want to work with, I don't know, pink. You could have pink snow or purple snow or something like that. And I'm going to do the same thing with my marker here where I'm adding just a little bit of marker all around next to that crayon. And I'm going to do my same thing with my paint. Okay. So if I were to take this, I'm not going to stack it on top right yet because it is kind of wet. But when I put it on here, I'm going to be able to see now that those are two separate size circles. So I'll set it off to the side so it can have a minute to dry while I work on this last circle. Okay, so I've got my three sizes of circle now and I'm ready to put this thing together. In order to put it together, you're going to need some glue and I think probably, I mean a glue stick will work fine if you have some little white liquid glue that's probably going to be even better to work with. All right, so I've got my white liquid glue here, and I'm going to choose with my snowman. I could, I could stack my snowman up just like this. The one is right on top of another. Or if I want to, like on this one, I can move them over just to the side a little bit, which gives me a little bit of extra room for adding some things like the carrot nose and the buttons and things going down the front of my snowman. I think I'm going to do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my little pieces of cardboard that I have and my white liquid glue. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue. I don't need a whole lot. These snowmen aren't like crazy heavy or anything, so I don't need to add a whole lot of glue. And I'm going to stick that down here. I'm going to add a little glue on top of it. This is the worst glue bottle ever, I tell you. And I'm going to add my next layer of my snowman on here. Press it down. And then I'm going to take my next layer of cardboard. Same thing, I'm going to stick it down and take my last, okay, and stick it down. So now I have built my snowman's body just like you would if you were playing out in the snow and you were building a snowman's body where you would have its bottom and its middle and its top. And I'm ready to finish adding some things. I'm going to let this dry a little bit before I do any coloring, but I'm going to take some of this scrap here and I'm going to make some little stick arms. Um, and I'm just going to do that by drawing not just a line, because if I drew just a line when I tried to cut it out, of course it would just whoop, disappear. So I'm just going to draw some little sticks and get them cut out. I'm also going to draw a carrot nose, which I'm just going to use a little triangle. I'm going to have a nice long carrot nose on mine. And I'm going to cut it out. And then if I want to have a little scarf or something else on my um, snowman, I can draw or I can create those little parts too. So now I have all the little extra parts of my for my um, snowman. I was going to take at the end of my scarf my scissors and I'm just cutting little slits to make it kind of a fringe like if you could imagine how scarves sometimes have a little fringe at the end of them I thought that might be kind of a cool idea to add here on the end of my snowman scarf and you don't have to make your snowman wear a scarf it doesn't have to have a carrot nose maybe you want to have a I don't know thing of broccoli for its nose <laughs> or you want to have something entirely different for its nose that's fine I'm just going to take a little bit of glue here on the end of my scarf and if you imagine where a scarf would be. Okay, so I'm going to add just a little bit of glue here on the end of this scarf. And if you imagine where you would wear a scarf, you wouldn't wear it like around your waist, which would be underneath this. You would wear it around your neck, which would be underneath this circle. So I'm just going to kind of tuck it under there and use my finger to press it down to add my scarf here for my snowman. It kind of looks like it's like blowing in the breeze a little bit. And then I'm going to add my carrot nose onto his face. I could have it going kind of straight out like it's sticking really out, or I could have it at sort of a jaunty little angle or something like that. And I have my stick arms that I'm going to glue down. Now I'm going to, I could do my stick arms here underneath my head, or I could make them looking like they're kind of coming like 
out of this part, which I think is what I'm going to do because if you think like that's sort of where you would attach arms to your snowman. And you can also think a little bit about maybe other things that you want to add. You, you aren't limited to this. You can make your snowman be completely imaginary where it just has like different things that you wouldn't normally think of a snowman having. I'm going to add two little eyes onto my snowman and I'm going to add a little line of buttons going down the front like you can imagine I took some rocks or some coal or something and added them onto my skeleton and now my or not skeleton oh golly my um snowman and now my snowman is all built ready to go into a winter wonderland